Claudopian. Today we are going to learn a pattern called CQRS, also known as Command and Query Responsibility Segregation Pattern. That's mouthful. In CQRS pattern, you separate your application's read operations from the application's write operations. The read operations are performed by the query module and the write operations are performed by the command module. Now you may ask why you need to have these two separate services and why you need to separate the read operations from the write operations. To explain that, let me give an example. Imagine that this service is for a news publication company and there are going to be maybe a handful of authors who are going to write these news articles. When you write these articles, of course, authors may need to maintain some information like how many hours that they work on the project. Uh, maybe they need to maintain some versions of the applications or sometimes they need to keep track of their research related to that news article in that database that they use to maintain these articles. To maintain this kind of information, maybe uh, the suitable data source for this can be a relational database. But let's now look at the read operations of this application. So imagine that you have these news articles that the authors publish and there are going to be millions of users who are going to read this. Now, of course, you don't need to have a large database uh, for the write operation. You can maintain the write operation in a small database. Whereas for the read operations, you may need to have a database that can scale in and out. For the authors, sometimes you may have concerns around the security. Only your internal company authors should be able to publish articles. So your other concern can be who has access to the database that you keep the information and maintain the information, which is the single source of truth. Whereas for the readers, you only need to perform read operations. You don't need to uh, give them right access to this database. So there are only concerns about readers. So you can design a system where the readers can directly connect to the database and access the information. So you can have like two different security models. For example, uh, for the write service or the command service, you may need to authenticate the users and then uh, perform, give them some fine grained controls. Maybe some users have permissions to change the versions of the news articles while others don't. But you don't have that complexity when you are doing the read operation in this scenario and you can have a very simple service that can go there and then read from this database. These databases can use different database technology. For example, your read service or the query service may use a simple file system because your command service wants to maintain a lot of background information. It may use a relational database. So the technology of these databases can be different. Of course, the next question is, how do you keep this information synchronized? And for that, you need to have some sort of uh, synchronization mechanism. Normally in a real world implementation of CQRS pattern, you may have more components than what I discussed before. So your user interface will communicate with the command service. So this could be a very simple web service, maybe running on containers. And to give a quick response for the users, once they make some modification, uh, the service will directly return to the users after saving that information into some sort of a bus. Now, this can be some uh, queuing service like Amazon SQS service, or it can be another simple storage uh, place where you keep this information. So once it comes to this bus, uh, some repository logic, maybe another compute instance that's going to read from that bus or from that queue and then write into the database. So that way the users are not blocked for that query to complete. And once you write to the database, 
And of course, you need to synchronize this information to the database that the query service is using here. And for that, uh, this database that the command service is using may trigger an event. Uh, and this event can go into this event bus along with the changes that they have made to the database. Uh, so this also can be another queue if you want. Right? And then they're going to be an event handler that's going to pick this change and then it will go into modify the database that the query service is using. This event handler may also perform some data transformation. For example, uh, in the previous example, we discussed that the authors are going to keep different versions of the, app, uh, the news article that they are going to publish. Uh, they may also keep uh, author information, which is not necessary for the readers. In that case, the event handler may format their data and then save it into the query service storage. Uh, for example, it may do some transformation and then create a very simple JSON file that it's going to save. Like any other design choices, CQRS patterns has its own advantages and disadvantages. Let's first go through the advantages of using this pattern. The number one advantage you get by using this pattern is that you can scale read and write components separately so that uh, you can plan your infrastructure cost. If you have a lot of users that comes on, let's say on Monday, you can scale your read database and read service uh, without uh, changing your write components. The other advantage is that uh, you can uh, reduce some complexity on your read side by uh, putting most of the logic that usually goes with write uh, service or write uh, operations into write service or command service. For example, you may need to authenticate users before you do any write operation to the database, uh, which all those logic you can um, isolate in your command service. The disadvantage of using uh, the CQRS pattern is that A, uh, you need to maintain all these systems, which can add to a lot of overheads, especially if you are not designing for a large number of users. The second disadvantage is that you need to synchronize this data. So uh, once you write to the database, uh, it may not be synchronized with the read database and or it can take some time so that synchronization has to take care of. And sometimes that synchronization also needs some compute power, which can add to your infrastructure cost. Cloudopian. If you like these kind of videos, remember to subscribe and thumbs up. See you next time.